that took Dad, you know, a bit of time to kind of adjust to because he just, I guess he just saw his kids as being racers. Racing was always there for him with Tali, I guess, but he's actually found something he really enjoys and loves, and that's definitely going to be the better path for him. It's not that I would say that free ride is a way to express yourself however you want to do it. Get down in the car, one time give it all, bust it open hard. You can ride big jumps, you can hike up a mountain and then just bomb down the hill, or you can, yeah, just go out and have fun with your mates. Let me see the job. So with freeride, there's no rules, there's no, it's not like a race where you go there and you race against the clock. Like no one can tell you what to do because you express yourself however you want. And that's what I find interesting about it. Free ride events, like you're just with your mates riding something insanely built, and you're just trying to have the best time ever and trying new things, like trying tricks. And like, I don't know, you just can't go wrong. Like, you're all riding together and partying together, and you're just all together, and it's just insane. Let me see the you can't not like watching Chaos ride a bike, it's, he's so annoying, he's so effortlessly stylish. Always super slow movements, but then like flirting around looking perfect all the time. I don't know, it just all just flows, you know? He's one of these riders that has this natural talent to be able to do everything and not follow the rules properly. When I think about Chaos is riding, when I follow Chaos, or when anyone follows Chaos, you never know what he's gonna do next. I'd say Chaos thinks outside the box with his riding. That's how I would describe it. This guy is sat on so much unbelievable potential for the free ride side of things. And he knows it, I know it, Tony knows it, and that's the direction that Chaos is going to go in. By the last few races this year, Chaos has had like decided what he'd wanted, what he wants to do next year. And he was quite set on like his decision. Oh, 100% he's way happier. Now that, like, racing nerves, just like, he knows it's fast enough, it's just the racing head. Some people don't have it. And some people are way more creative in different areas, and that's what Chaos has got. So, I can, I can see it now that he's like, he, he's, he's a lot more open. He's not like, squished down by this pressure of racing, you know? Like this year, he does, he does a week and a half filming the unhinged thing, and then he has to go and try and qualify them next week. So literally he's done nothing other than crash a million times trying to film and edit and then go and try and race the next weekend. I've always 
wanted to be a racer like when I was a kid like because growing up growing up in Morzine like back then there wasn't that many jumps or you like you literally just I just or all, all I did was I went to plenty and rode the steep tracks and just wanted to go fast. I've been racing since I was like young and I loved it like honestly did in like the last like couple of years every time I went to a World Cup I loved being there with the whole team and everything like that but I didn't want to be there like if I'm being honest, like I'd rather have been at a like fest or at Crankworks or any other fun event. That's when I knew that it was finally time to make the decision. It was just like a weight off my shoulders, really. Like I did it. I did stuff that I'm happy with. I did stuff that I know I could have done better, and I fucked it up. But it's just how it goes. I'm ready for something else now, and I've been. I wanted to do it for the last few years, but. Now it's just it's just time to do it now. Well, we still got we still got one more shit to to do. Yeah, that hit. But now we're going to the main spot now. I don't know. That's just what it's about for me now. And making videos like I did like one week this this year in between doing Unhinged, and I only had like a week to do it. And I like and I was like, oh my, that was like one of the funnest weeks of the year uh, with the other events. And I was just like, well, if I can do more of that, not just a week of it, then why would I not? I just came back from Andorra and was like straight into filming. And now, literally, if like normally the filming dark days are until uh, Saturday, and I'm leaving at uh, 4 a.m. on Sunday for snowshoe. I've always done like shoots for other people, but this is quite cool to like do my own thing. Like, yeah, I'm happy with it. Happy with how it's going. Fucking sick. Now we're about to go film the main spot. And, well, I've already tested that, so I tested it on the first day. So I can go straight into filming now. Stepping into the free ride side of things for chaos, there are less physical podiums and results, and you need to be doing a hell of a lot of content and content creation to really build your image and build yourself up as an individual athlete. So when an athlete sets out to do an athlete edit, that usually means it's an edit that they have created themselves, it's a concept they've created themselves, and they will be the, the kind of creator and activator and designer of the whole thing. We had to go and find areas to rent, areas to build on. We went and found the builder, which was Sam Hodgson. To be doing his own thing from start till finish was, was great for chaos. <laughs> Basically treating this as year one for chaos in this career change. If you, if you kick off with a brilliant athlete edit, it sets you up to be able to do that continuously through your career. So when you think about mountain biking and like what you want to see out of mountain biking, I think when you watch Unhinged, it's quite like, yeah, that's what I want to see. <laughs> Very good. We found an amazing filmer and editor in Joe Simpkins, um, who we wanted to work with for a long time. I, yeah, I, I loved working with Joe. It's so good when you actually, yeah, like join together and like, feed off each other. Doesn't look much, but it's just making it like probably ten times harder. But he's got it. He's so close. He's so close. Like he was like, that was sick because I I would come up and I'd be like, oh I'm sorry, Joe, and he was like, no no don't worry about it. Like I'll like it's fine. And I'm like, really? I I'm I'm annoyed. <laughs> I'd like to be home. Fucking hundred tries in, I was like, oi, like, are you sure you're not getting annoyed now? <laughs> he was like, nah, I'm fine. I'm like, fuck me, you're patient, aren't you? And after like an hour, you're like, oh, come on, lad, like, land it. <laughs> Take 150, I think now, with the flip manual. Bit of powering through, Chaos is a Beast. Just a little bit worried about battery life. It's my only stress. This is it, this is it. Yeah, man, let's get it. It'd be fine if the if it just went dead straight. Yeah. Because I normally if I do a manual, I like 
manual to the left. Is it? I'm gonna go that way. <laughs> so yeah, we came into the shoot um, already off the back of two months of Ray racing. It was hectic, it was insane. And she died. We were filming all day, it was going insane. And then we got to the last bit. Yeah, it was like half seven and we started the trick. I was already fucked by then. Oh, Couldn't even walk up at one point because my legs were just like so seized up. Fucking annoying. Having them there was insane. Like it was so much better having like yeah, having your mates there being Come like, Come on, you got it. Let's go. And it's funny Come because it's, cause obviously you're gonna say this is the time you land it. So I think my mate Milo said, you're gonna this one a hundred times. Yeah, brother. Grafting, dude. On something so fucking stupid. It's not stupid at all, otherwise you wouldn't be doing it, would you? Otherwise you wouldn't be struggling. We were like, come on, it's a flip, Manny. I can do this. Like, I've done loads and normally do them first try. And for some reason, this time it did not go first time. Let's go, boy. Let's go. go. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh, off. Fuck. Oh. fuck off. Fuck off. What the fuck, lad? It's all right, cuz you're gonna land it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> You won't have to do it anymore then. Yeah. All right? Come on. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Fuck! Oh! Yes, lad! Fuck yeah. Oh my god. What's that? 80? Oh, I reckon we could be in 90s. I think we could be in the 90s, even off the 100s. I can't believe that took so fucking long, just that. I'm not even happy, because that shouldn't have took that long. <laughs> but I'm just, I'm just glad. Yeah. It was just insane to finally show what I love about riding, and I can't wait to make another one. Unhinged was such a sick edit. It was amazing to watch and it was like, dude, you need to do way more of this. This stuff is really good. So if his focus is on a lot more projects like that, then yeah, there's gonna be so many good things coming out of it. I was, it was like so sick to see Chaos do something that he wants to do. I just wanna have fun on my bike and do what I wanna do. make people feel like they want to go ride their bike and that's what I feel like you can do with free ride. I think I felt the best I've ever felt before. It's just another day in the office. Yeah. And, uh, the synopsis of uh, the seeding run is the hardest run of our life. Oh,
I must admit, hands up, I'd probably, I'd probably fail the girls, to be honest with you. You guys are still here. Well, I may as well tell you about this bad thing. This is the custom Howie Roll Canyon Spectral CS7. It's a medium, it's pink, and it's insane. To win this beast, all you have to do is subscribe to the Canyon YouTube channel and comment under any of the Howie Roll episodes. Entries close on the 20th of January, 2023, and you only have the chance to enter once. And the full terms and conditions they're just below. And by the way, if you guys don't enter, I'll happily keep it. Oh. You're right. Yeah.